Hey guys, what's going on? It's Twintuitive717. I am back with another video. I hope everyone is doing incredibly well. As always, guys, happy Friday. It's nice and snowy here. We got some uh, some snow last night. And so you know, all the trees are covered up and all the rooftops are covered up. So yeah, just the last dose of that before spring hits. My son tracked a bug in the house yesterday because before all the snow hit, we... Um, we got some rain, a lot of rain, and so we were jumping and splashing puddles, and so when he came inside and he was like taking his coat off and all of that stuff, um, he took his shoes off and he saw a bug, and I go, oh my god, that's a great sign of spring, because usually that kind of bug would be hibernating, so yeah, it's well on its way. So I have a song synchronicity for you guys, and it's Blem by Drake, and I know of the song, but I haven't ever really paid attention to the lyrics, and Obviously, that happens a lot on the Twin Flame journey. You know a song, you know of a song, but it hits different if it comes through as like a song synchronicity. And oftentimes, that's what happens when your counterpart is trying to reach out. Um, and it's really up to you to trust that message that's coming through. Okay, so there are, there are a few lines in the song that stood out. And, you know, what I felt like he was trying to say through the song is that he it's almost like the divine masculine when I say he is or whoever's in the divine masculine energy they want to make sure that the divine feminine is aware of how they're feeling even though they're going through a lot of tower moments the dark night of the soul um, a lot of them are doing like a lot of karmic clearing um, and, and I feel like many of the masculines are having to take ownership for the karma that they've attracted um, and that they've created because when you attract karma with different people you also have to um, be patient and, and, and have the karma balance with that person as well and so many masculines are almost sitting in the solitude really wondering what the divine feminine is up to um, and it's almost like they can't move until they've taken ownership and accountability for some of the stuff that they have done in their past. And that's what I feel like they're going through. That's why many of them are really silent right now. Um, but they're doing a lot of reflecting. And because they're separate from the Divine Feminine, I feel like a lot of them are feeling the sexual energy coming through where they just want to be alone with her. Um, and oftentimes I feel like that's just a human experience. You know, it's like you don't you don't know what you have until it's gone. And I feel like many of the masculines are, are, are saying like it's more than just the attraction or the sex at this point. Like maybe once upon a time, they might have felt that very strongly. But I feel like now when they think about the divine feminine and they want to be intimate with her, it is so much more than just sex. It's like intimacy like real intimacy you know sex is like the icing on the cake at the end of you know the the bonding so yeah another part of the song too that stood up stood out was when he was saying like i know we can't work it out and be together forever um because you're crazy sometimes and i only see you sometimes so you know i feel like a lot of you are separated based on like being in other relationships and maybe some of you are still in marriages maybe some of you are still in long-term partnerships wondering how this twin flame connection is going to come together and I feel like there's a lot of obvious answers um you know sitting in front of many of you but fear can get the best of us when it comes time to taking action and so I feel like many of your masculines have gone through that taking action part and they're dealing with a lot of the repercussions now many of them just want to shut off from the world because you know they've made the choice that they've made and i feel like karmic situations are really tugging at them and, and and pleading but you know they're holding steady by by staying in solitude and i think like for many masculines that's that's the shift right is not getting pulled back in or dragged back in the big shift for a lot of them and that's why they're going to continue to sit in solitude until they can master this energy um, but they're not being sucked back in through manipulation like emotional manipulation okay many of them are standing up for themselves they're seeing relationships like human relationships differently um, and that the illusion is being loyal just because of societal programming you know like loyalty is earned um, it's it's not it's not just a concept that you you have to live by it has to be earned so yeah, let's go ahead and 
get into what he's feeling about his divine feminine okay the first card we have coming through here is the two of swords okay so a lot of them know that they definitely have a choice to make okay and they are thinking about making this offer to you divine feminine but as long as they're in this energy of healing and, and purging and clearing and things like that they're not going to get to like that creative energy of the three where they're willing to like make a move and, and feel this kind of confidence and celebratory energy um, of coming forward taking you out on a date um, showing up with you in public and things like that um, I feel like they've got that choice to make and it's it's not going to happen until they're able to you know fully let go and I feel like that's why she's looking away because energetically many of you can feel your masculines wanting to come through and talk to you in song or telepathy and if you're in the divine feminine energy, I feel a lot of you kind of brushing off the telepathy or brushing off the synchronicities or kind of looking the other way when you see a sign. Because again, many of you are not interested in doing like the push and pull dynamic for the year 2022. Um, I feel like for a lot of you guys, it is about making that clear decision with that energy of the two there um, of, of just staying authentic to yourself and staying authentic to what it is you want out of this connection. Um, and that's been a lesson for the feminine in 2021, where many of you walked away from a lot of your masculines being engaged in third party situations. Um, I feel that if you were in the feminine energy and you you were in a marriage or relationship yourself, um, you you stayed uh, true to your heart and you might have stepped down from some of those relationships or made clear cut endings because your heart couldn't be in two places at once and you wanted to honor that. Um, but with that decision came a lot of repercussions as well. Um, where you were in the, the hermit energy, right? Divine feminine. <laughs> I feel like many divine feminines stayed in that solitude energy until you were really able to master the high priestess. And now that you have, many of you are in this confident energy where you're able to feel your masculine a lot more clearly. You're able to pick up on karmic situations um, that are happening and you're staying 10 steps ahead, which, yeah, that's the big shift. 2022 is about... Uh, you know, manifesting what it is we desire and, and having the courage to, to stand up for what it is we want. And many of the divine feminines and even masculines too, who have really dug into the inner work and stayed celibate and stayed in their solitude. Um, you guys have regained a lot of your creativity and your power. And many of you are like twin flame or no twin flame. Like I can't just, you know, slide or, or, back down on what it is I really want out of out of true love and many of you have sent each other down a path uh, to healing <laughs> so now when it comes to attracting this love back into your life many of your masculines are saying like come on like don't <laughs> don't switch on me okay so there's that song song synchronicity coming through you know they have big plans and it doesn't seem like it because they're MIA um, but usually when the masculines are in solitude or hermiting um, they're in the hanged man position, you know, the hierophant is coming through, visiting them through the divine guidance, things like that. Um, and hierophant energy is not only about divine guidance, guys, like it could be like um, getting good guidance about like investing your money, saving your money, um, like how to make really good, solid decisions in your 3D life as well. That could be hierophant energy, right? Um, getting healthy, preserving your energy, learning from mentors, um, shutting off social media um, when it comes to like entertainment and things like that and really using t social media or YouTube or any kind of um, media where you're, you're, you're kind of tuned in, they're using it as like a tool now to listen to more meaningful things. So, so when they're in this energy, I feel like that's when they're making big plans because now they're actually getting the, the guidance, right? They're, they're getting clear on what it is they actually want to experience. So a lot of the karmic energy that was making them feel like they were never good enough, they would never get there. Many karmics as well, divine feminines, used to make your masculines feel like they weren't good enough for you or that you were the illusion or that you were the one playing games or you would never leave your marriage or you would never leave your, your relationship. But I feel like all of that is coming out now. The truth is coming out and... Many masculines just love the action that you've been taking, Divine Feminines, and <laughs> the Magician card. <laughs> uh, of course, that's coming out. Yeah, this is the Feminines energy, okay? You guys are coming back out on the scene now, Divine Feminines, and I feel like that's why your masculines like, don't switch on me, I, I got big plans. Because they know that 
whatever you're doing right now, you are owning it. Okay, many of you are awakening from that hermit energy that you were in for maybe the last, I want to say like two years or so. Um, and, and you're feeling like mingling again. And, and, you know, many of you, if you are allowing yourselves to just extend your lighthearted energy to others flirt things like that many of the divine feminine energy you guys are owning it you know like you don't owe anybody any explanations as to what it is you're doing in your personal life when it comes to having sex being intimate with other people flirting with other people having other friendships relationships it's nobody's business and many of you are doing this um, very discreetly as well because you know that it's coming from a place of you making your own decisions and, and not having to explain yourself to anyone a lot of masculines can feel you energetically and intuitively, um, divine feminines, and you two are mirroring each other at this time. The two of swords tell me they want to come forward, and this is what they're doing in the background, behind the scenes, as mastering this magician energy. The big plans is like giving you everything, like they want to give you everything. I feel the masculine energy, like when he's attracted to the feminine and her power, like it puts him into the state of surrender where he's just like, I want, I want to give you everything. I give her everything, you know, like in every way possible, <laughs> every way possible. Okay. Um, the last card we have here is the nine of wands coming through. Yeah, they're coming. Like he even has his hand over her mouth here. Like he doesn't even want to hear that part of the reading where you are mingling or being discreet about your your affairs, your your endeavors, divine feminine. He doesn't even want to hear that. Look at this card, guys. <laughs> and all of the animal synchronicities in the background there too tells me that, you know, there's a lot of energy that the divine masculines are sending towards the feminine, like animals, birds. I talked about this in the last reading. You guys are finding birds popping up on you. Like you're feeling your masculines trying to communicate and talk to you. Um, and it's because you know, it's their nature, your mind, you know, that's what I'm, I'm feeling through this card here. And it's also like this energy of like, wait on me, you know, um, this energy too with the nine of wands here is also coming through because many of them can feel that you are, you are a woman of your word is what I'm getting divine feminine. You are the magician. Like what, like if I say something, I'm going to do it. And that energy to your masculine is very, sexy and it's very attractive at this time all right um that's what i got for you guys i hope you find this video well um i am running a special right now on wizio so if you guys want to hit me up for some sexual energy or sexual healing um those types of readings i'm going to be using my more erotic and sexual decks um, with those readings and by booking a reading you also get entered into a draw to win a deck of your own <laughs> the tarot of sexual magic um, and you will win an additional reading as well with me of your choice whether you want to dig into more sexual healing or sensual healing or if you just want to check in with the twin flame energy okay so hit me up on wizio i do have it all set up there for you guys i've got about 10 spots available um, and i would love to connect with you guys one-on-one -on -one. so um yeah if you guys are guided to check me out uh, otherwise yeah let me know in the comments if you guys are feeling any of this sensual energy coming through and check out the song synchronicity blem by drake i'll try to post that somewhere okay i love you guys take care and i'll catch you in the next one bye